Hello everyone, and welcome to my mount saving guide. In this guide, I'm going to talk about gold making methods that I do when I'm leveling, but also things I try to avoid, and spells that I skip for each class. And if you combine these three things, then there's a way higher chance that you will get your mount by the time that you reach level 40. One thing that I always make sure of is to buy bags, and I buy these bags when I leave the starting area. So when I get into the second area, around level 5 or 6. One bag is 5 silver. I usually buy one or maximum two when I'm leveling in the beginning. Because instead I would rather find a tailor, because tailors can also make 6 slots bags, and these are way cheaper compared to buying one at the winter. The price for the thread is 30 copper, and the linen cloth you will find when you're leveling anyway. So the price for each bag is going to be around 1 silver each, compared to the 5 silver. The whole purpose of buying these bags is because they will make you a lot of gold in the end. You don't need to find that many items in the starting zone before you break even from the cost of the bag. And with these bags, you don't have to delete items to make room for quest items, and you don't have to go to the town all the time to winter. So you will save time and you will earn more gold. When you're leveling, you'll find a lot of cloth. A lot of people tend to just winter this, because one stack of silk cloth is easy 30 silver. But if you plan to go FK, I would recommend you to also have first aid, because that way you can convert it into bandages. So one stack of silk cloth was 30 silver. If you go FK, you can come back, and this has turned into 40 silver. So it's an easy way to make another 10 silver if you're not at the computer anyway. If you're not planning to speed level, then I would recommend you to pick up skinning. Skinning is such an easy way to make extra gold when you're leveling. You don't need to post this on auction house, you just need to skin the monsters and winter it when you go back to town to turn in some quest. Around level 20, you will get medium leather quite often. This is 10 silver each stack. And when you start getting to around level 30, you will also make a lot of heavy leather. This is 30 silver each stack. So in the end, you will make a lot of gold when you're leveling from level 20 and all the way up to 40. Next up is a few mistakes you should try to avoid. I see a lot of people who go to auction house and upgrade their gear. This can be good in some occasions, for example if you can get a big upgrade weapon wise, but if it's a slightly upgrade, I would not recommend you to do this, because in the end you will lose a lot of gold. Before you start leveling, or well before you reach level 10, Make sure to have planned your talent tree. A correct talent tree will make you level a lot faster. A non-correct talent tree might force you to respec to level faster, but also because groups don't want you. If this is the case, you will end up losing a lot of gold. Next up is going to be spells you don't really need or you don't need to rank up. They won't really make you level faster, but they will save you a ton of gold. As a warlock and a paladin, this is not really the case, because yeah, well, your mount is free. I've made a timeline, so you can easily find your class. I'll start with the cloth types. These are the skills that I try to skip when I'm leveling as a mage. So I get Frostnova rank 1, but rank 2 I don't really go for, it just do a bit more damage, it's not really a useful upgrade. Arcane missiles, no go, I just use Frostbolt, Firebolt, or maybe Blizzard. Amplify magic, detect magic, is not needed. Polymorph rank 2 can be useful for higher CC, but you don't really need rank 3, 4 or 5. As a priest, I often skip mind vision. This can be useful when you're leveling if you try to find a specific monster. Resurrection rank 2, no need, just go for rank 1, you just need your resurrection. Mana burn is pretty much for PvP, so this I also skip. Shadow Protection I go for when I'm level 60 and start doing higher level dungeons. As a rogue, I try to skip Garrote, Gouge and Kick rank 2 or higher. I just use these for small CC, not for the more damage. Faint you can also skip if you like to do solo leveling. If you like to do dungeons, you might consider getting these. Next up is the Druid. Entangling roots can be useful. Also sometimes I like to get rank 2 for a bit more CC but rank 3 or higher is not really needed. Same with Hibernate, just a quick CC, I don't really use rank 2. 
Rebirth, I just get rank 1, so I have the combat risk. And Rip, I don't really like to use when I'm leveling, i rather use Ferocious Bite. And if you plan to level as a Feral Druid, you can just skip Wrath, Moonfire and Starfire. As a Hunter, you can skip Eagle Eye. In some occasions it can be useful, for example to scout an area for a quest mob, but also to see if there's enemy players nearby. Viper Sting you can skip. Eyes of the Beast can be handy when you try to do a specific pool, but else you can skip this. And all your tracking skills beside humanoids is also something you could skip. As a Shaman you just need Resurrect rank 1. Farsight can be handy for the same reasons as the Hunter, the track an area for a quest monster or PvP situations. All the resistance totems you don't need, the Windwall totem and Flame Tongue totem is the same, and Thrush Shock rank 2 you don't really need, you just need rank 1 for the slow. The last class is Warrior, and if you plan to solo level you don't really need Mocking Blow. If you plan to do a few dungeons you could just get rank 1. Pummel you just need rank 1 for the quick interrupt. You don't need the more damage. Chill Bass rank 1 is the same as Pummel, just a quick interrupt. An Intercept you just use for a quick stun, but also to get to the enemies. You don't need a bit more damage. As a Fury or Arms Warrior, you don't need to rank up Revenge. And Thunderclap, you just need rank 1 for the debuff. One thing you have to remember is that this is skills that I like to skip to save gold for my mount at level 40. Nonetheless, then I hope you found this guide useful and that it will help you save some gold for your mount at level 40. As always, thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.